Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today's topic, how to create a group policy and how to apply that group policy to a user or to a group. Yesterday we created a user called Kiara and we granted him a remote access to this server. So I'm logged on to this remote server, Windows 2008 server as this user as well as in a different window I'm logged in as administrator. There are two windows and two people are logged into this remote server remotely. This is my local computer and these are the remote desktop screens. Now group policy provide you with a tool of controlling security and a lot of other things. Now as you can see this user Kiara has access to run and help and support. With the help of a group policy, we will actually stop him from using either run or help and support. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'll log off as this user Kiara and I will maximize the window. I'll go to start, administrative tools and active directory users and computers. Now I'll get you to expand this domain click on users and this is the user that we created yesterday I'll get you to right click on domain name new and organizational unit I'll give this a name of accounts and I'll say OK and the new organizational unit is here I'll go back to start and administrative tools and this time I'll click group policy management. I'll decrease the size so you can see a little bit better. So this is Active Directory users and computers and this is group policy management and you can probably see that the new organizational unit that we created here is also visible here. This is group policy objects you can expand this and there are two default policies default domain controllers policies and default domain policy right click here and click new and this is the name of new group policy object I'll say group policy for accounts and I'll say OK and the new group policy object appears here now that you have a group policy object you can edit some settings to suit your requirements so right mouse click and edit and you have this group policy management editor in front of you go to use go to policies go to user configuration policies administrative templates and go to start menu and taskbar and you have a number of settings that you can change or edit to do whatever you want to do I'll sort this according to settings name and I'll go down and let me find the settings that I want to find out remove run menu from start menu double click and simply enable this this settings you can also write some comments and if you click this tab here explain it will explain what this setting will do apply and OK and remove help menu from start menu double click and enable this setting as well as well apply and OK close this and you can now right mouse click on accounts and link an existing GPO group policy object and the new group policy that you new group policy object that you created is here select this and say OK now this group policy object is attached to this organizational unit you can close this go back to users and simply drag this user and drop it into this 
organizational unit say yes and this organizational unit has this user Kiara Knight now with a group policy object associated with it and whatever that policy settings are will apply to this user if you want to create a new user you can right mouse click say new and create a new user and the same group policy settings will apply to that new user for all users that you create under this organizational unit so we can check this we can minimize this and we'll go back to start remote desktop connection and I'll log again as this user Kiara type in the password OK and I'll maximize the window start and user Kiara now does not have access to run or help and support this is the simplest policy uh, that you can create and this is a very common policy that you'll have to create and use thank you very much